the program Islam Insight, a very special series essentially dedicated for our new Muslim brothers and sisters. How do we uh, commit ourselves to gain knowledge? Regarding Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I'd like to know, is hijab co compulsory for women? Somebody told me that a Muslim is not allowed to have relationship with a non-Muslim. Knowledge reviles the spirit of Islam. Brother, you are talking about believing in the existence of the hellfire. How it can be a benefit for us, this uh, believing? See, the benefit of, of believing in the hellfire, he puts you to work. He puts you on the right path. When you know, when you study, when you believe in these horrific things, what does it indicate? What does it reflect? No, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. I don't want to be the part of the hellfire in any way. And when you believe that you do not want to be in the part of anywhere in the hellfire, what do you do? You will obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the benefit in believing in the hellfire helps you to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And indeed those people who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those people who obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never throw them into the hellfire. Those who really believe, those who really love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if Allah loves someone, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he loves someone, he will never throw him into the hellfire. And whom does Allah love? Who loves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who loves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely, truly, who loves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they reflect their love in their actions. They, they reflect their love in the, in the deeds by obeying, following and being dutiful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the benefit in believing in the hellfire is that first of all, it puts you to the right path. It helps you to recognize that you do not want to be there. So where is the place that you have to be? in the Jannah, in the heaven, in the eternal happiness, in the eternal bliss. Also the benefit that you actually can gain from the belief of hellfire is that you will warn yourself and you will warn your family. Because we do not want our family members, none of us, our parents, our mother, our father, our children, our brothers and sisters, our wives or husbands, we do not want them to taste a bit of hellfire. We do not want them to get into this worst place called hellfire. So what do we do? We try to invite them to the belief of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We pray for them to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We strive to tell them, explain them about these kind of horrific and terrible tortures and the punishments and the foods and the drinks of the hellfire so that they may take heed, they may take lesson. So the benefit that you actually get from the belief of hellfire is that you will put yourself to work and call your loved ones whom you love, whom you love so much that you do not want them to be in the hellfire. It helps you in that way. The benefit that you also gain in the belief of hellfire is that you will get more eager to get into Jannah. If you do not want to get into Jahannam, there is another place for you. You have the best alternative, a, an exact opposite of the hellfire. So you will work on that front which will help you to gain Jannah, which will help you and benefit you to get the place which is of eternal happiness. So these are some of the benefits that you can gain after believing in the hellfire which is reality. Dear brothers and sisters, we were talking about the worst thing, the worst place, the real place, Jahannam, the hellfire. 
a blazing fire. We need to believe in it in order to fulfill our belief in the hereafter. We've mentioned that it is the worst place and those people who reject Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are going to be there in the hellfire forever. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide all of us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from this worst trial, from this worst place, hellfire. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide, to guide us in the right path so that we may be protected from the hellfire. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us being obedient to Him alone. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين